bucks. You can get all flavors, 10 for 10 bucks. That's Satan, wholesale sin. <laughs> 10 for 10 bucks. That's good. Bless God for a recession. I saw three candy bars for $1. <laughs> three for $1. So I put three in my pocket and bought three other ones, and it was. It's tempting. Six for one. Here's the point. If God gave us what we deserve, there would be no church here. There'd be no parking lot. There'd be no Sunday school. There'd be no kids at Bible college. There'd be no churches, no tracks, no chance if God gave us what we deserve. He's a very long-suffering God. Don't you dare for a minute and say, God, some mean, angry God. By the time God acts in judgment, he's let you off the hook so many times. If I got what I deserved, this will be the last two verses I ever read. It says in Psalm, or Second Chronicles chapter 36, verse 15. Now, th- now we're talking about Judah. This is the end right here. And the Lord God of their fathers, God, sent to them by his messengers, rising up betimes and sending. He kept sending prophet. For, now wait, for how many years? No, no, Judah. That's right, Terrence. 356 years. Look at this. Look at this. Because he had Because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of God. You see that? Every time a preacher got up, they mocked him. On the way home, they mocked him. Well, don't worry about Pastor Mark. He's, he's just, I already told you this, he's just angry. You ain't seen Pastor Mark angry. You ain't never seen Pastor Mark angry. Some of you flirted with it for a little bit. But you ain't seen, but yeah, Dave might have a couple times there. You ain't, Cody, Cody, yeah, Cody's experienced some of that. You ain't seen Pastor Mark angry. You've seen Pastor Mark under great restraint. But still, still, they mock the roadblock. There you go. Mocking the roadblock. Who says? this? But they mocked the messengers of God and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. (laughs) Help me out here real quick. What is God's way of keeping you on his good side? What is the roadblock God has used? Prophets. 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 You'll never not need a prophet. Isn't that weird? Well, I can do it on my own. I'm a maverick. You'll never not need a prophet. How many here are greater than King David? Raise your hand. How many prophets did he have? Three we know of. You'll never not need a prophet. And what's a prophet's job? Happy birthday to you. The prophet's job is to testify against Isn't that weird? You want to know why? Because if we don't submit to the message, we'll harden our necks. And guess what the solution is for a hardened neck? There is no remedy. Two statements. God is not an angry God. But he can be an angry God. Huh? God is not an angry God. 
but he can be an angry God. Let's pray. With our heads bowed and eyes closed and nobody looking around. Let me ask you a question. If you're here tonight and you don't know for sure, you don't know for sure that you're saved. You don't know for sure that you're a child of God. Would you be honest right now and just raise your hand? You don't know for sure you're saved. You don't know for sure you're a child of God. Would you be honest? Just raise your hand. I won't embarrass you. You you don't want to be under the wrath of God. So if you're here and you don't know for sure, would you just raise your hand? Would you just raise your hand? You don't know for sure you're saved. I won't embarrass you. Just put your hand up and put it down. You don't know for sure you're a child of God. All right, listen, church. I want to thank you for coming tonight. We're not dismissing, but I want to thank you for coming tonight. But this isn't just another gathering without dealing with the main issue. And the main issue is this. This is another roadblock. Some of you are about to do something. Well, let me rephrase that. We're all about to do something. And we need a continual reminder to make the right choice. There's a fork in the road on every decision, every choice. Listen to me. You need to make the right choice. I'm praying for you to make the right choice. I need you to pray for me to make the right choice. Tonight is another roadblock with another warning. Don't look at my face. Don't look at me as a person. Just listen to the message. Listen to the message. Stop. Turn and obey. Tonight. I'm going to pray when I'm done praying. The piano's going to play. I'm going to ask you to come and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, help us now. Two point, two point message. Turn from your evil and submit in obedience to the word of God. Help your church to do that tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. With their heads bowed and eyes closed, will you come and pray? You don't have to stand, but will you come and pray? As, as those get ready for baptism, that means there's plenty of time. Plenty of time. Come and pray. Stop, stop, the roadblock would say. Stop, stop. Two hundred and ten years for Israel. 146 more years, so 356 years for Judah. And the same result for both. Prophet after 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 prophet. How many Sunday school lessons in junior church? How many men's preaching night? And men's prayer night and recovery class. How many Sunday mornings and Sunday nights and Wednesday nights? You need a reminder. You'll never outgrow preaching. You'll never outgrow it. You'll never outgrow it. We'll never come up with a better way. Oh, let's show a movie or a drama. Let, let's do this. Listen, you'll never come up with a better way than what God has done. And that way is preaching. Preaching. 